it's the 7th of February 2021 and I am here in Olon, Ecuador again embarking on some sort of journey of life the journey of no direction is sometimes the, the best path to embark on because when we structure things too much things become a little bit too predictable and I have to say the way how I like to live life is to not know what tomorrow is going to bring and over in this place anything can happen when the sun rises in the morning that time you have from the sunrise to the sunset is the most mis mystical time you have because it's the present moment i will be embarking uh, onto a very interesting journey in the next week i will be reconnecting to ayahuasca but this time with a different tradition normally when i work with ayahuasca i work with the shibibo and um, they are indigenous to the Amazon rainforest but this time I'm going to be working with a completely other, other different shaman in a very different tradition and um, set and setting so I will be making a longer video of explaining like the uh, the process of this journey and what happens and the insight I will gain and I'm sure there will be you know when you drink ayahuasca there's always the uh, the fear of the unknown no matter how many times I drink the, uh, the planta, you really don't know what to expect. So there's always a little bit of fear when you step into that unknown. And in life, it kind of teaches you how embarking into the journey of the unknown is a magical path to embark on. Because the journey of the unknown is where your character really develops, where you really start to come into yourself to understand yourself. As we become too comfortable on this journey of life, again, it's all prediction, 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 prediction. I know week from week what I'm going to do. And I think this pandemic is going to show how the uh, external environment has shaped your life way too much. And now when the external breaks down, the internal starts to crumble. And now when the internal starts to crumble, that's when we start to become very, very sick. And when we become unwell, we become sick, we become lost in oneself. That's the problem. So we've drinking these plant, these plant medicines. It's then therefore letting go of the external and coming into the internal. The internal process is where the magic starts to happen. You start to feel your body shift in certain ways you may not be familiar with. You start to feel every part, every fiber of your body. You're able to travel into the parts of yourself which you have seen to locked away where you hide all of your traumas and they're the ones that manifest into your patterns of behavior but when you work with the medicine you now have to face them my journey on my life is like okay I'm not a perfect person by any stretch of the imagination I've been on this long long journey of this unknown but look where I am would I have been here a few years ago I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be when I was just in the gym lifting weights every single day, that was my environment. My external environment was going to the gym and lifting weights. Therefore, if I was still in that place going through this pandemic, I'd be in a very, very different situation right now. I'd be coming very, very depressed. I would hate to think what kind of person I would be, to be honest with you. So I can sympathize with people who are going through a hard transition at the moment. Um, you know, it's, it's not easy. But remember, the external is only one aspect of you. The internal is the truth, is where you really reside. The internal is when you can really manifest and grow yourself. And growing yourself is all about re-empowerment of, of the human spirit. And I say that it's the biggest thing you can give to yourself is to re-empower yourself again. Done.